the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, basically I'm going to be showing you guys on how to install any no NPDRM game using your PlayStation Vita. Like I like to state in all my videos, uh, the prerequisites, what you need. You basically need a PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV that it's modded from either firmware 3.60 to 3.68. Whether you're using Hankaku, uh, Hankaku Enzo, or H Encore, those are the three primary methods now. I know that uh, 3.69 and 3.70 coming very soon due to the Fool's new exploit. Uh, you could use the same method because basically once those two uh, exploits come out, that means you could run unsigned code via Hankaku. But as of right now, as of April 6, 2019. 19 that's the only method we have you'll also need a program called auto plugin so shout out to the hero GAC for making this go ahead and download the latest version there will be a, a link in the description for this program too and then basically any no NPDRM game of your choice I'm not gonna provide any links to any games go ahead just google it I bet you could find it um, but the game we're going to be testing out today since it's a very small game it's just Minecraft it's pretty popular I didn't want to install any three point you know gigabyte game to make the video run along but with that being said let's go back onto our desktop and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, what you need don't mind all my uh, videos right here because those are the <laughs> videos I'm going to be uploading soon to YouTube but um with that being said go ahead and go to your downloads folder if once you downloaded it you could just drag uh, auto vbk desktop and now what you want to do is go ahead and go back to your PlayStation Vita also if you don't have Vita shell I'll have a link in the description to you know how to install Vita shell too but most people uh, you know who have a modded PlayStation Vita um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download Vita shell molecular shell uh, whatever you're using but in this case um Assuming that you already have it installed, I'm going to go straight back to the Vita. Okay, so once you're back on your PlayStation Vita, I'll just restart back out Vita Shell. What you want to do now is go ahead and reopen up back Vita Shell, just like any uh, normal program. And either if you're going to FTP or USB uh, your VPK over, uh, it doesn't matter which way you're going to do it. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to be doing it the FTP method. So if people who are FTPing, just hit start, go all the way down to where it says select button. If you're doing USB, just toggle that over or toggle over to USB using the directional pad. If not, just use FTP. In this case, I'm using FTP. Once you do that, hit select and then your uh, server should pop up. Make sure uh, not to touch it. And then what you want to do now is go back to your PC and boot up FileZilla. So I'll have a link in the description for that too. I already have FileZilla already booted up, but I'm probably going to have to retype it in again. I'll just hit quick connect but what you want to do is go ahead and type in your IP that is shown on your PlayStation Vita and also the port the port for the PlayStation Vita as always is 1337 PS3s don't have usually the port and also uh, the PlayStation 4 can vary it could be either port 21 or 1337 unless you're using some like custom thing uh, but with that being said what you want to do is go ahead and whenever you downloaded the auto plugin VPK go ahead and copy it over to UX0 and then you want to go ahead and make sure it transfers over you should get a little notification and also in successful transfers as long as you have depending you may see 969 files uh, don't you know look into that because I was doing something for another video but it should say that that file has transferred over successfully and I'll tell you the name and stuff but once your file basically has successfully transferred over you want to go ahead and go back to your Vita and then you could either uh, shut down your server or click OK. And now what you want to do is scroll all the way down and go ahead and install Auto Plugin VPK. I've already did this step, so I'm not going to redo it over again. But you will just click X, click X again, because it will saying it will say to you, uh, do you want to, you know, install this unsigned homebrew? I just make sure it's not, you know, malicious file or it contains malicious files. Just click X. And then from there, 
I'm going to go ahead and back out to Vita Shell, and you should see auto plugin already installed to your uh, Vita. And I just got to find mine. Well, here's mine right there. And now, what you want to do is go ahead and boot it up for the very first time. It may ask me to update since I'm on the uh, lower version of it, or maybe not. I'm just going to click no for this process, but since you're on 3.85, you don't have to update it since that's the latest version. But now what you want to do is once you have auto plugin boot up, go ahead and plugins for the Vita, go ahead and click X to install plugins. And now the plugin you want to go ahead and focus on for uh, this video is called no NPDRM. This is going to uh, allow us to basically you or bypass any DRM protection for your Vita. So what you want to do is go ahead and click X. And then once you do that, you're going to restart your Vita and boot it back up to the main menu. I'm not going to do this in this case since uh, OBS gets a little choppy for me. But with that being said, go ahead and go back out. Or once your PlayStation Vita is fully booted up, just pretend like I'm um, my Vita is fully booted up. What you want to do is go ahead and go back in the Vita shell. And I'm going to show you a way that you can verify no NPDRM has installed successfully, whether if you installed it into your zero or UX zero. In my case, I usually install it to both. But as you see here, you see uh, my no NPDRM. Yeah, so you, under the kernel, you'll see where it says UX0 tie slash no, N, no NPDRM X key PRX has been installed successfully. And you'll also see the file right here. Um, If you get these two things, basically it shows that it's uh, successfully installed. And you could check if you did install in the UR0. Should be the same thing if you see the file right here, which is highlighted in green. That means you, you did it correctly. And then once you do that, and now what we're going to do is basically go ahead and transfer our game over. I do recommend uh, using the USB method since, you know, FTP, uh, FTPing over games does take a little longer and a little bit, you know, while. But since I'm using Minecraft, it shouldn't take too long. And that's why I'm going to be using files a little. But we're going to basically do the same process on how to transfer the game files over. So what you want to do now is go to start. All the way down to either if you're going to do USB, go ahead and just toggle it over, scroll down, use the directional pad buttons. But if not, just go ahead and hover FTP if you're trying to follow along. Then hit select. Your IP will be different from mine's, but in my case, uh, my server is already popped up. My FTP server is running. So now what you want to do is just leave that screen on, put your Vita to the side. And now you want to go back to your PC. And then once you have FileZilla uh, back open, go ahead and type in your IP, your port. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and get our game for whatever game it is. So in my case, I have my games in a certain folder on my PC. Yours may be on your desktop or wherever, probably your downloads. But let me go here. There you go. So here how... Uh, PlayStation Vita games look like uh, essentially I know from just the content ID here or I should say the um, yeah the title ID or whatever this is Minecraft all you will have to do is take your game and it will be formatted just like this uh, PSCSG stands for um, Japan PSSE stands for America such and such those are just the title IDs for the uh, the con or for the region of the game but it shouldn't matter. It should be formatted in a similar um, in a similar uh, text. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit UX zero, and in app you want to basically drag your game over to app. That's where all your games are installed. So in this case, as you see here, these are all of your PlayStation Vita games are installed under your app into UX zero, and UX zero is your memory card. I'm probably gonna pause the video right here depending on how long uh, this process may take, even though it may take a little bit, uh, a while since it's still a lot of files for it to copy over. It probably will take way much faster. Like I said before, if you're using the USB method, it won't take you know too long at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here. And then once all my files transfers over, I'll show you guys on how to install it to your PlayStation Vita and how to all right, guys, so all my files has uh, transferred over successfully over. You should get a notification if you're doing this way. Um, if you're just doing a regular Windows process, um, 
as long as you know the files transfer over successfully and you know uh, it says 99 100% and it close out that little window telling that the transfer is happening that means it's completed and now what you want to do is go ahead and run over to your Vita I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back up for y'all guys so now once your Vita is shown you could go ahead and hit X and now what you want to do is go to back to your main menu on or the main menu in Vita Shell by hitting circle and you just see all your file directories go ahead and hit triangle and then refresh live area um depending on how many games you did for this method if you did one two three four five um in this case only did one so it should only say that uh one item in my uh, live area has refreshed thus that's the only game i i know for some reason i get a little bug that says uh, two items refresh for me even though i only installed one game but if you go back out to your live area you can see that minecraft has successfully installed for me and then right now if i boot minecraft up you should see uh that minecraft is running in real time i'll even put the volume or my vita close to my microphone so you can hear the volume and it's running in real time and that's basically how you install any no npdrm game um if y'all guys have a playstation vita that's on 3.65 for example and you're trying to run a game that's on like 3.69 firmware for example you may have to install the plugin called refood but as you see here you know minecraft is running in real time i'm go ahead and just showcase that um it may take a little while for me but essentially oh yeah as i was saying if you guys have a if you're on 3.60 trying to run a 3.69 game without the uh, plugin called refood it basically that plugin allows you to um install you know games that are on higher firmwares and i'll show you an example right quick before we even end this video on how to install that since we already installed auto plugin i can um show you guys uh this method so if you're on 3.60 vita and you want to try to go ahead and update or use a game that's on 3.69 and it won't install all you would have to do is just go ahead and go to your plugins here and where it says refood by the faps team um what you want to do is now go ahead and run it just like how you run no and and uh, excuse me no npdrm click x and then it'll set it installed and then it'll ask you to restart your Vita or just go ahead and power it off and power it back on. Um, but that's just a little quick guide for that portion. With that being said, my name is Nagato. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'm on my road to run thousand subscribers. And if you guys want more content like this, please leave comments down below. Give me suggestions on what you guys want to see from me. Um, I recently just bought a HDMI splitter. So PlayStation 3 tutorials are going to come out. I'm also trying to invest in uh, AV to HDMI plug so I could start recording from my PlayStation 2. I may go ahead and invest in a camera. Uh, and build up this channel so a lot of new stuff is going to be coming around i'm also going to try to see how to record off a playstation portable i'm still trying to test out on how to do that uh, stuff but i got a lot a lot of stuff planned on for the future uh, with that being said thank you guys i'm signing out peace